All right, we're gonna start off our uh, Christmas candy making with um, something I used to make quite often, actually. It's, it was called maple bacon crack candy. Um, you start with crescent roll, and then you add maple syrup, brown sugar, and bacon. Um, so what I'm doing is first I'm gonna make crescent dough. Um, it's a basic fathead dough. So I'm gonna take one and one fourth cups of mozzarella cheese, mixed with two ounces of cream cheese and melt that in the microwave, um, probably like 60 seconds, 90 seconds, something like that. Uh, when that's melted, I'm gonna stir it up a little bit and then pour three fourths cups of almond flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and one egg into it and stir that up for dough. Um, I'm gonna start stirring it, I'm gonna mix it with hand. And then I'm actually gonna pop it in the fridge for about 15 minutes to set up and then I'm gonna roll it out um, flat between parchment paper. Um, once that's done, I have 10 slices of bacon chopped up here. I'm gonna cook that. Um, and then I have half a cup of swerve brown sugar and a fourth of a cup of maple syrup. I'm using chalk zero maple syrup. Um, feel free to use your favorite. Uh, I mean, we have other other types of maple syrup here, some with no calories, some with fewer carbs. Um, this is the one I'm using for this recipe. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start making the dough first. Mozzarella cheese. Cream cheese, pop in the microwave. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention, I also have a fourth teaspoon of salt in with the baking powder. All right, I have uh, the dough in the fridge. Um, I'm gonna leave it in the fridge while I fix the bacon. So I'm gonna cook all the bacon now.
All right, the bacon is cooked. Um, once it cooks, you want to put it on a paper towel, um, let it drain, that kind of thing, let it cool down. While that is uh, cooling and getting the grease off, I love bacon grease as much as the next person, but we don't want grease in this recipe. Um, it'll make the bottom soggy, um, which I'm hoping doesn't happen. Uh, so now we're gonna get the dough out of the fridge, put it between parchment paper and roll it out. I do have a couple of kind of damp paper towel pieces between the bottom piece of parchment paper and my table to keep it from sliding around. So I'm gonna get my dough here and we're gonna roll it out. Okay, we've got it rolled out. Um, I moved it over to a baking tray uh, to put in the oven. Um, I do still have it on parchment paper. That it makes it a whole easier to move and it bakes better on that and stuff. I'm gonna cut some of the edges off and move it around a little bit so that it's more, so it's not sticking up the side of the pan and stuff. After that, we're gonna drizzle on half the maple syrup. Then we're gonna sprinkle the brown sugar over the whole thing, sprinkle the bacon over the whole thing, and then put the rest of the maple syrup on it. And then we'll be ready for the oven. All right, I have an oven preheated to 380 degrees. I'm gonna pop this in there and it's probably gonna take 10 to 20 minutes till the crust is done. Um, I'll let you know how long it took. When I'm done, I'm gonna check it at 10 minutes. Um, but it may take a little bit longer. All right, they are done. And it did take about 20 minutes, uh, which is kind of what I thought it might take. Um, I just didn't want it to burn. So after 20 minutes, it's done. We're gonna let it cool here, and then we're gonna take a pizza cutter, slice it up into smaller pieces. All right, I got me a piece right from the middle to give it a try. It's actually not quite as sweet as I thought it would be. Um, I thought it might be overly sweet. Um, I did cut down on the sweetener just a little bit. Um, this is really good though. Brown sugar, maple, bacon, crescent rolls. 
What's not to love? 